Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another grocery haul. I hope I find you all safe and well, especially after the awful weather we've been having in the UK recently. Um, I myself live in a red alert or in an area that was on red alert on Friday, so I've experienced firsthand how awful the weather was. Thankfully, we've come out completely safe and well, and I hope you have too. Um, this is our grocery shopping for the week ahead. So I did this shopping yesterday, which was Sunday the 20th of February, I think. I'm sure it's the 21st today. <laughs> and my children have just started their half term holidays. So there is more kind of like convenient snack type foods in this shopping than normal. Um, we spent £67 and we have enough food to get us through until Saturday. So it is vir virtually a week's shopping bar one day. And yeah, so I'm going to record all of the meals that I make with this food over the next week. And I will put that up on my channel next Thursday. So if you're interested in seeing what I make with this food, then please do come back to my channel next Thursday and, and have a look at that video. I also picked up a Aldi Special Buys booklet which I will go through at the end of this video. So if you're interested to have a look at that, do stay tuned to the end of this video and then you'll be able to um, have a look at that. And yeah, so with all that said, let's get into the haul. Um, just to say sorry about the lighting. Um, I do not need to explain the British weather at the moment <laughs> and it's super dark and the light has to be on. So apologies for the glare on the um, packaging um so i've picked up some seedless red grapes for snacks for the kids um some of these little delights pots of yogurt there's only six there and they will be eaten very quickly <laughs> um but they do have still some of those um, tube ones so these are strawberry apricot and raspberry and then i got these for my husband some peach and passion fruit yogurt um some carrots some bananas some tender stem broccoli, some baby corn and some raspberries, two packets of wonky blueberries. I've never found a problem with wonky blueberries. I don't know why they're wonky. Um, but yeah, got some of these um, pork cocktail sausages for um, packed lunches sort of thing while we're out this week for half term. Some salad potatoes. I thought these looked really lovely. Um, they look a really good quality. Um, some strawberries, some baby cucumbers, and some of these, I've got two of these protein yogurts. They're 25 grams of protein per pot. They're really big pots, um, quite a lot for one portion. So you'd probably portion that out a little bit further, I think. Um, I've got two in vanilla flavor, but they did have a couple of other flavors. They definitely had um, strawberry, and I think they had, they might've had a raspberry as well. Um, some mature cheddar, two broccolis, and some ready-made Yorkshire puddings. Some cauliflower cheese. This is the frozen cauliflower cheese. Um, we've never tried this from Aldi. Um, I picked it up for to um, put some on our roast dinner tonight. Some chicken dippers. Some peas. I've got these two bags because they're quite small. Um, they had a whole freezer out of action today where the peas were, and I think... They literally had just scaled it right down. So this was all they had. I don't know if they do a bigger bag or not. But anyway, these were 59 pence each. Um, some of these mini ice creams. So you get four milk, two almond and two white chocolate. So they're essentially like the mini magnums, I think. And I thought these would be good for the kids. They're still very, very high and everything. But they're smaller versions. So I just thought it would be good for the kids um, rather than having big ice creams. Some beef steak mince, 5% fat. I'm going to use this across two meals this week in the slow cooker. Um, I've got some sausages. I've got some uh, caramelised onion pork sausages and some Lincolnshire pork sausages. I'm using some of these on our roast tonight and then, um, well, I say a roast, basically a gravy dinner with sausages. <laughs> um, and... But I don't think the kids will like these ones, so I think I'll mix them up. I'll probably, I think what I'll probably do is cook all of them and then use the leftover ones for lunches and things. And then some semi-skim milk. I've got a big six pack of baby wipes. I buy a box like this probably once a year. Um, we don't really use baby wipes very much now, but it's just, you know, hands and stuff when you're on the go. So I've um, got a box of those and picked up some Jaffa Cakes for my husband because they are his absolute favourite. 
I've got some um, prawn cocktail crisps and some ready salted crisps um, because we've got a few days out this week in half term. Two chunky chopped tomatoes, some crisp rice, so their version of Rice Krispies, um, which my four-year-old asked for. Some tomato ketchup, some of this delicious looking biscuit spread. We have had this before and it does taste exactly like the uh, branded equivalent. Um, so um, just got some of that for the cupboard. Some tuna steaks. I've got two tins of the drained ready to eat in spring water. Never tried um, Aldi tuna before. It will be on our meal plan during the week on one of the nights when I'm working for tuna and pasta. Um, so if you've tried tuna from Aldi before, let me know in the comments below because um, it's one of those things. I don't know why, but it's one of those things that I've always just said not bought from there before. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we've got that. Um, some Whisper um, four pack of bars. These are very small bars. My six year old wanted some chocolate and he likes these um, and I can limit the amount he has by getting smaller bars. Um, some Titan, we'll take these with us. We're going to have a day out to the zoo um, this week and possibly a farm day as well. So um, these will come in handy for my husband particularly. Um, some Pano Chocolat. My six year old is the only one who really eats these. And he really didn't like the ones from Sainsbury's that I got last weekend. So um, I'm going to try him on the Aldi ones. I don't think he's, he's never tried these before. He's only really liked the Tesco ones so far. So we'll try him on these ones. Some custard creams. These are just going to go in the car with us. Some marshmallows, bunnies and chicks. I bought three bags of these last week. And I ended up giving some to my friend. Um, so... Um, I've bought another bar bag because my four-year-old absolutely loves them. Some Tropical Blast Zero Sugar. I'm not going to lie, I am missing Pepsi Max caffeine-free one that I was drinking a lot. I have really missed it, but I'm going to persevere and see if I can nip those cravings in the bud. <laughs> um, some Hovis Best of Both Bread. Some Baby Bells. And some of these mixed beans. These are... Um, taco mixed beans in a tomato sauce that are mildly spicy so I'm going to pop those in with our mints um in the slow cooker this week I think um and just make some kind of I don't really know some kind of meal <laughs> I don't know what I'd call that but anyway um some jammy wheels minis these are the little bags they're really handy for trips out some um chili fry light my favorite one some Crunchy peanut butter for my husband and some smooth peanut butter for my children. Got um, tempted again by some more of this Meridian almond butter. This one is toffee apple flavour, which sounds amazing. I have used a tiny amount of the Banoffee one that I bought last week and it's really lovely. Um, it's not a strong flavour, but it's really, really nice. So I put a little bit of that on my porridge this week. Um, so I won't open this one until I've used the other one, I don't think. But anyway... Um, some angel slices i'm hoping that these are going to be like the branded ones because they're the ones that my children like they are quite picky well my six-year-old is so he always knows the difference <laughs> when i try and um, change things up i got some of these breakfast biscuits it was a bit of an impulse buy really um i just thought i'd put them in the car when we go out in case we get stuck in traffic because that happened recently we ended up sitting on the dual carriageway for an hour we were only up the road and it was a nightmare and I didn't have any snacks and yeah I can imagine with the kids in the car um two uh three bags of fusely I got two of the um white and uh, one of the whole wheat and then four tins of sweet corn and four tins of baked beans I absolutely love the Aldi baked beans they are really, really good and so much better value um and yeah that's everything that I've bought from Aldi this week so I just picked up a copy of the special buys. I just thought I would quickly run through it um, so you could see what's going on in there. So they're talking about Pancake Day. They did have a really good selection of um, pancake bits out and they had like some good sauces and um, spreads. And they've also got some sugar, um, flavoured sugar. It's a little bit like the dusting that um, Tesco sells. And they had maple flavour, vanilla flavour and lemon flavour sugar in there. And it said that they were new out. 
Um, but they've got some um, bits and bobs in ready for pancake day. Some car bits. DIY bits and all of that, which is just not my thing. <laughs> um, I wish I was good at DIY, you know. Um, me and my husband are just not very practical people, so we have to get help for a lot of our things that we do in our house. More DIY. I'm the sort of person that would buy these things and then just to look the part, you know, <laughs> wouldn't have a clue how to actually use them. And then some more um, home bits. Key safe, that's a good price for a key safe. Mixer taps. There's some cool stuff on here for the kids. Um, that's a good costume there, Spider-Man costume. Some pajamas there. And they've got some water bottles. That's handy for um, going back to school after half term. It's good to refresh the bottles every now and then. My um, my kids tend to smash there, so we don't really need to. Um, we need to buy them quite regularly. I mean, lots of books. Sorry for the noise, my little four-year-old just walked in. Some flowers. They're lovely. I do love flowers. Haven't bought any flowers for our home for a while, actually, but I almost bought some daffodils today from Aldi. I need to start doing that again, because I did do it last year quite a lot, and it was really nice. Those roses are lovely. Some outdoor bistro set. That's really nice. They've got some different colours as well. And then some fruit trees, seeds, planters. These are lovely. These are really like those. Can't remember what they're called, but they are lovely. Some more garden bits I can't wait to get out in my garden anyone else just I love it it's getting close now I feel like this is the time of the year when it teases you and I get a bit impatient <laughs> these seeds these seed trays are good I grew my cosmos last year from seeds and they became massive in the garden but these sort of trays are handy because I used um, I used the trays from um, party rings, um, you know the little plastic trays that you get off um, the biscuits in. I used those to cook to grow to start my seedlings last year. I've got a potting bench. I've got a potting bench in our greenhouse. It's a terrible state. It was left here from the old owners, so I could do with a new one really. And some more garden bits, just the feed and the compost. That's a good price for compost. Not sure how big that bag is, 40 litres. Watering cans. And this was what's coming up. Oh, the egg chair is coming back up. And some wool. No, is there any more? There's one more page. Oh. And Super 6 from Thursday the 24th. Yeah. 
So if there's anything you want to take a closer look at, you can pause it and zoom in or whatever. But that is the um, Aldi Special Buys brochure. So that was everything that I've bought for our family of four this week. Like I said, if you are interested to see what I make with this food, then please do come back next Thursday and um, that will be up on my channel. And all that's left to say is thank you so, so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye guys.